I'm going to tie a variation of a sunray shadow here. Uh, this one's called the German sunray, but it's simply because it's in the colours of the German flag. So we've got a piece of glitter tubing in here. This is just a silver glitter tubing, and I've burred the end of it here just to stop the tie-in silk from advancing too far forward. This slide is going to be 100 mil long, so the pin as we measured before is 100 mil so roughly to the end of that pin may a little bit longer than it just to allow for the the bit that's stuck up here at this end. Now underwing on this one I'm going to use a little bit of uh, red bucktail. I'm going to cut that out and I'll pull out the little underneath fibers and I'm going to just by hand a line up some of the tips. Those. Now the idea of this is just to keep the, uh, the wing up and out of the hooks. So I'm going to go for roughly two thirds to three quarters the length of the fly that we want here. And I'm going to snip off my bunch. I'm going to take my dubbin needle I'm going to add a little dab of super glue just into the butt ends of that and apply it up to the hook and then tie that down before it dries itself off. So, next uh, we're going to put on bit of yellow fox. So I'm just going to look for a piece of this with nice straight fibers. Cut out a bunch. Now that looks more than we need but that's because we're pulling out the majority of the fluff. Now I'm just going to pull some of those fibers through to give me a bit more taper in that. And I'm going to measure that for length over the top of my wing so I want it to become maybe another centimeter or so beyond the red portion. I'm going to transfer hands and then I'm going to snip that off and as we did before I'm going to put a little bit of glue just at the very base of it set it on and bind it down before that dries. So in here now we want to put some bit of flash. So I'm going to use a little bit of Mirage crystal hair. I'm going to set that on on top it across its middle and fold it back. And then I'm going to cut that off for length again at the full length of the yellow, maybe even a little bit beyond the yellow fox. Now I'm going to take that wing out to its length now with a bit of goat. This is black goat. I'm going to cut off a bunch of that. I'm going to pull out the under fibers as we've done with the other hairs. And I'm going to introduce a little bit of a taper to that. And then I'm going to take my ruler and I'm going to set that on it and measure it for length so that it comes up to 100mm. Transfer hands and take my scissors and cut off nice and square. did before. A little bit of super glue into that so the goat doesn't compress at all so it's a very hard hair to tie in. I'm going to set that on up to the back of our lip on the tubing 
and then wrap that down before it dries. side of the feather, some from the other side of the feather. And I'll just use my fingernail and introduce a little bit of curve into that just to get it to sit nicer on top of our wing. I'll tie that on. And then snip off the ends. And this one again, we've got uh, jungle cock sides, so I'm just going to take a jungle cock nail, set it up on my side, and I'm going to take one to match it for the other side, measure it up, remove the fluff from the end of it set it on. Using the rotary function of the vise I'm looking at the top of the fly here and I'm just measuring the two for equal length. And then I'm going to tie that down and remove Ends of the jungle cock. Now you might think that doesn't look very neat. Neither does, and there's a reason for that. It's because I'm going to take this, which is glow bright number three, which is red, and I'm going to run that about an inch of it through my super glue, and then I'm going to make a head out of red glow bright. So I'll just snip off. Spare end of that. Take out a little bit. Run some glue down my thread. And then wrap back. should make a nice red head for us, so we're just going to whip finish that. And then varnish that up. Clear varnish. This is Sally Hansen Hard as Nails Nylon. And then as that dries, we'll probably add another coat or two to it just to finish it. But that's essentially the fly. We call it German Sunray.